Hey guys, I'm back with a new video, and today we are doing a album review. As you can see, we have lots to go through today. So, I, so I think let's just get started right off the bat. Yeah, first we have uh, Ramones End of a Century. Now, this one's pretty good. I liked it a lot. Uh, it's not the best album ever. Out of a one to five, one being the worst, five being the best. Give it a four. Uh, it was, yeah, it's good, you know, like, it has a uh, good songs, okay songs kind of thing. Yeah. Okay, uh, oh yeah, also, if you don't know what the numbers are, these help me keep track how many I have. So each, so each CD I get gets assigned a number. So this number is 1, 155, up there is up there's the year, the last two digits of the year I got it in. So this would have been two, about 2020, it was 20. This one would be the worst 155. Plus, plus uh, this also helps tell um, tell him who CDs choose. Because my dad has a giant collection too. I have a big collection. And so this kind of helps. Like, oh, this is dad's. Oh, no, this is mine. He still has numbers on the back kind of thing. Yep. Next. Okay. Next we have Kiss Dynasty. Um, this uh, five out of five. I love this album. It's just great. A lot of good songs on it. Um, and uh, and I like the cover too. Also, um, also my dad actually has the original on vinyl, it's hanging up on the wall in the basement. But yeah, like, uh, like this. So so this is Kiss most. This is Kiss's most popular song. I was made for loving you. And ironically, it's actually the, you know, the demon, uh, the Gene Simmons, this is actually, he does not like the song. Like, seriously, like, I like this song, that one, that one, that one, and that one. So basically, the first half of the album, I like, it's good. Okay. Okay, next I have Roy Orbison, um, Mystery Girl. Oh, so yeah, it's kind of the same front and back, which is kind of cool. So this album was good. I liked it. It has a, it has his uh, famous song "You Got It," and also I like that she's a mystery to me too. I like that one too. Uh, oh yeah, so I also have a cold, so you see like sniff, you hear me sniffling, coughing, sneezing, hacking, anything with cold. Two people colds do. Yeah, yeah. It's, I'm sorry. But yeah, this album is good. I'll probably give it a four, because it uh, it's because they have because it's a lot of songs I like on here that are good, but there's a lot of songs that are, aren't the best. They're kind of okayish, but it's it's a nice album. Like, you know, just kind of have like on the background kind of thing. Oh yeah, so these are no particular order. They're just kind of like these happen. This being the order, how I threw them in. Okay, so now this is a. Uh, so you have more of a mountains. This is Road to Ruin. And um this one is a five. I like this album last. There's a lot of good songs on it. But um Hey, you can see my reflection. What do you know? Luckily you don't see my face. Ha So um So how I kinda of figure out like how to you know, you know like what albums to do Right now, I'm trying to listen to all the CDs and CDs in the house. So I'm going to do one of mine and one of my dad's, one of mine, one of my dad's. Kind of go back and forth. So these are basically all the ones we kind of listened to in the last, like, all of a sudden last time, I, since I filmed the last one, which just went up about, I want to say about, like, well, for me, it's like a day ago, but when I probably upload this, probably like a month ago. So you know what I'm getting at here. So, yeah, so this is really good. Like, first song is good. Uh, first one, and that one, that one, I need some pins, but number seven is a pretty famous one, but yeah, it's, I, I like this one a lot, okay, so this is Ace Kiss, Ace Freely, and the story behind this is, so the Kiss, as a band, we're not getting along, now the man is like, okay, how about you go out, create, create your own solo albums, and that's exactly what they did, and so, uh, out of all of them, Ace Freely did the best. Next was The Demon. 
then it was Paul Stanley and Peter Chris. This is like this one was probably the best of all of them. That's probably actually Paul Stanley and Gene Simmons and Peter Chris. But yeah, this one probably get a five. It's really good. It just rocks. This is great. And also, this one has the New York Groove song, which is somewhat famous. Okay, this I'm I'm going to give like a one or a two. Like this is, it's like, it's not Kiss. It's just, it's very bluesy. It's country bluesy. I don't like it. Sorry for the in interruption. Sorry for the other interruption. Hey, it's it's because when I film my review videos, I always film at my grandma's house because in my room. Like, it's just the lighting, for some weird reason, it's just bad. Like, it's always dim when I film it. Then when I film over here, it's always bright. I don't know why. Like, seriously, like, like I like my window in my bedroom is, like, ten times bigger than the one in here. Like, you know, I, you know, I look at that, you know, that's not that big compared to the one in my room. It's huge. And it's like, I, I still don't get it. I just don't get it. And so I film everything here. And my grandma, she worries a lot, like, about us being on time and stuff. So she's like, Patrick, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So, watch the video. Okay, so, so, yeah, this wasn't the best album in the world. It wasn't the worst album in the world. Like, it's a nice, you know, like, if you have Polly Cook, but just put this on the background. It's kind of one of those albums, just like the Oi Orbison album. Uh, Orbison. Next. Next, we have Simba's Children and Everyone by the Rolling Stones. This one, um, it's good. I like it. It has a couple, like, it has Get Off My Clown. That's pretty much it. Um, but it has, it actually has, uh, Route 66, too, but I didn't know the Stones, we did that. So it's, overall, it's it's okay album. I give it a three. It's not as bad as Peter Chris's album, uh, the last one, but it's 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 a good one. I would give it a um, nice. Um, it's it's probably just like the Peter Chris and the in the Orbison one. Nice one, just put on the background kind of thing. Okay. Okay. Next we have the Ramones. Leave home. This is actually my newest one I've gotten, and uh, yeah, so this is a really this is a good it's an okay one. Uh, this, so this is the second album, and this has, uh, uh, like, so the big songs of this is Pinhead and Commando. Those two are also on the greatest hits album of the Ramones. And it, 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 it's a good album. I like it a lot. I, so, but so this is kind of another one you just kind of put on the background. But I don't like, like so this is actually a whole, like, Ramones concert right here. Too, which is kind of cool, but yeah, so yeah, that's kind of I have to say about that one. But like, so cool thing about the Ramones is that I just looked and I just realized how bad my camera is. Like, I'm just looking like, geez, you can't even, you can't even see those names. I feel bad for you viewers out there. That my camera just stinks. Okay. Sorry, I just, sorry, tablet. Okay. So, also, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, okay, so the Ramones, you know, play a full count concert like this, you know. But the concert will only take a half an hour. You know, like, they'll play, like, 18 songs. It takes half an hour. And half an hour because the songs were just, you know, the songs are so short. like, a two minutes or less. Like, no, a few minutes or less. It's nuts. Next. Wait, I said uh, I'll probably give this one a three. Okay, next. Okay, next you have Gene Simmons. So now this is an interesting album. You know, like, it's a Gene Simmons. So I always think about, like, the dog, heavy metal. No, it's not that dog, heavy metal. It's kind of, kind of more like rockish, kind of hard rock music. But also, there's, there's how I guess you can say cameos on here. Like, there's a part... Uh, like, a one song, he's talking to Cher, from Sonny and Cher, which is kind of cool. But I'll probably give this a three. Nice background music album, too. 
Okay, so tonight we have the Ramones, Walk It to Russia. This was the third album of the Ramones. Um, and this is a good... I, I, I can't I like the art on the back. But, um... If you got this, get made it fall out. But this is, um... I like this one a lot. It was a... So, my... Like, there's a lot of ones on here. Like, like Cretan Hop, Rockway Beach... Lock it love, I don't care. She knows a punk rocker. We're a happy family. The teenage lob but lobo to me, I think, and do you wanna dance? And they also have surfing bird, like yes yes, they mom's a surfing bird. Which is I think is a cover. But yeah, this is a good album. I'll probably give this one a five. No four. That sounds unreasonable. Four. And next we have Paul Stanley. Uh, well, Kiss Paul Stanley. This is a good album. I like it a lot. There's a, um, as you can, if, if you can read the songs, um, it, it, it's pretty good. I like it a lot. And I would definitely, I saw probably, well, it's still, I can probably, like, another background of a party album kind of thing. But I'll probably give it a three. I'll just kind of play it safe. Give it a three. Okay, so I saw Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers Greatest Hits. And so I'll just let you the back. I don't know what I was doing there. But, oh, uh, wait, I'm trying to, oh, yeah, I remember. So I got the Greatest Hits Loud Zeppelin with the Greatest Hits of Jimi Hendrix. And then when I did the numbers things, I, for some really weird reason, I totally ignored this. And so I put down for me to remember. And when I got between Led Zeppelin and Jimi Hendrix, and I'm like, oh, don't know why I did that. But yeah, you can just read the songs off of the back if you want. Um, this one was pretty good. I gave it a five. I guess I didn't. I didn't. I didn't realize how many songs he has. So like, if, if you basically went the whole entire, the whole entire um, uh, not Jimmy Hendrix, the whole entire career of Tom Petty, you pretty much get this. And you pretty much said it's pretty good, and it's kind of relatively cheap. Okay, this is Kiss La. This is Kiss Love Gun. This is. This album's great. Five out of five. Uh, five stars right here. It's just like 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 that was big. This one. That one. That one. I think number nine. And then number ten. I like. Like so, this album is just great. Actually, I actually I do. Dad, I have an original Love Gun on vinyl, which I don't have with me. Cause I've been thinking about doing a vinyl review, but yet I don't get much vinyl, so I'm like, it's not really a big point in getting it. But if I get like new vinyl, I'll probably throw it in and do an album review and be like, hey, vinyl, look at this. But plus the vinyl I get is pretty beat up, so like the, like the package and well the sleeve is pretty beat up because I get them cheap. So um, so yeah, so this album overall is pretty good. Uh, to kind of read, I'll just do this so, so you guys can read the songs. So overall, this album's pretty good. I like it a lot. Um, and yeah, that's all I have for that one. So this is a very interesting cover. This is the Who a sellout. This would be the Who's second, no third album, and um, uh, that's a very interesting cover. And you know, on the back, it's pretty interesting too. Uh, now here are the songs, if you can read them. You can't read them, because I can't read them for the screen, so you guys can't read them. This sad. So I just go right here. And so, uh... So I just got my nose. So this album overall is pretty good. So they have, like, the... So, so this is basically, like... Number seven, right there, is because I can see for miles. Yeah, and it's a that's that's probably the one that's probably the biggest song off of this. But but I just can't believe there's twenty three songs on the album on this CD. There's twenty three songs, and personally, I don't know if that's actually true or not. I just don't. I, you know, like, I don't think 
it's bonus tracks, but I, I just don't know because they don't say bonus tracks. So if someone knows and watches this, please clear that up for me because I'm still wondering like heck. Because I do not think they put 23 songs on this album. That seems a little nuts. So <laughs> an out well, well I guess Tommy the Who had like two, but still. But, yeah, so if you just happen to know, please tell me, because I am wondering. So, so this I'll give a five. Pretty good. Uh, I like it a lot. Pretty, this is like a big, like, I guess pretty much like this is like a, this is pretty much like an advertisement thing, really. Like, they, like, they have a, like, there's a song here. I don't know what song it is. But the first like, minute of the song is saying Coca Cola, Coca Cola, and just I like, keep going over and over and over and over again. It's weird. Yeah, it's but still somehow pretty good. So, yep. That's all we have. Yep, that's the mm, sellout. <laughs> so if you like this, please leave a like and subscribe. I have Sony, you can see my fans, so I'm kind of go up like this. So if you like this, please leave a like and subscribe. I have two other album album review videos. More to come out in the future, hopefully. And yeah. Ah! And slipped. And yeah. So if you have any questions, comments, answers to any question answers to questions that were in the comments or asked in the video. Just go down the comment section below, type in the question, answer, comment, or anything. Because I do read every comment because here at PHI, Games in History, we don't get any comments. So it's kind of like, ooh, comment, see what they said. So, yep, please leave a like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye!